Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a special sneak peek unboxing. This is from Diamond Art Club and is one of their new releases this week. This kit along with the other new releases are going to go live tomorrow, which is Saturday, July 16th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you happen to be in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon Eastern time. You guys, I'm really, really excited for this one because it's by one of my favorite artists that Diamond Art Club licenses from. This is The Moon Thief by the one and only Ivy Dolamore. Oh my goodness, I love Ivy Dolamore's artwork. And as soon as I saw this piece, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so perfect and beautiful. Uh, so this is actually gonna have round diamonds. That's all this pink branding on the box here. On the back, we have info about how to diamond paint as well as the kit contents. And then if you flip it over to the side here at the bottom, there's a QR code you can scan that will actually give you a discount code for I believe 10% off. I'm gonna show you a couple of different discount codes throughout the course of this sneak peek unboxing. Um, but yeah, thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. I hope that this unboxing, this sneak peek helps you make a decision about whether or not this kit is on your shopping list for the weekend. Now, we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be limited edition. If a kit is marked as limited edition, um, that means that as soon as it sells out, it will not be restocked. We don't know about the no new releases, which will be limited edition until they actually are live and release. So what I recommend doing is if there's a new release that you think you might want, definitely check in at release time. And if it's limited edition, don't, don't wait, go ahead and grab it just in case. So um, here's all of our kit contents. This kit comes with one of Diamond Art Club's newer toolkits. There are a couple of versions of toolkits floating around out there. Most of the new releases seem to be coming with this newer toolkit. Now, if you order a kit from the website, especially if it's an older release, there's not really a hard and fast way to know if you're gonna be getting the old or the new toolkit. The good news is no matter what, it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. The new ones just come with a couple extra bonus goodies. So you're gonna get a basic pen and squishy. The color may vary. You're gonna get a caddy with a couple of plates of pink heart wax. I always like to remind you if you're new to diamond painting to take off the thin plastic cover that's on the top of the wax itself before you try to load up your pen. You're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then you're also gonna get a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in this once you're done with the project, or you can even kit up into these, I suppose, but got a nice bag of baggies there. And then we have a clear plastic tray with some gold sparkles <laughs> along with uh, a stopper. You can just pop in there. That'll help prevent the diamonds from spilling out. And then these last two parts, these are the kind of the wild cards. So over here, this is a cover minder and this is a roll of washi tape. These just come with the new, newer toolkits and the print and style may vary on both. Now a cover minder actually has magnets on the back. You can slip the one off and slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on. And then uh, peel back the plastic cover and you can set this down on top of the canvas and that plastic cover to help hold back the cover. Uh, then when you're done with this section, or rather if you're done painting for the day and you still have some of the section left, you just pull the cover minder away and can lay the plastic cover back down. I like to use washi tape uh, to cover up the border of my canvas. Sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field and covering it up with washi tape is a good way to prevent dirt and dust from getting stuck in there. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape with diamond painting and I'll, I'll link to that below in case you're curious and want to take a look. So that is the toolkit and then we've got a small sticker. I like to use this in my paper log book once I start working on a kit. You can also use this on the side of your box to help organize your stash a little bit. I like that it has the original artwork on it and all the information about the kit as well. Now all the rest of the kit contents are going to be here in this branded dust cover plastic bag that just gives our kit a little bit of extra protection and is very well sealed apparently. <laughs> So let's take a look. So this will be the top. 
Oh my gosh. <gasps> she is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love her. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so uh, we have our big bag of diamonds here. We'll take a look at those here in just a bit. Um, Wow, I just wanna look at this canvas. This is so beautiful. Lots and lots of dark colors, but oh my gosh, I love what I'm seeing. So anyway, uh, your kit's gonna come with a pamphlet with some info in it, including a thank you note from the founder on the front. You have some info about what's included in your kit, a link to a beginner video. Uh, be sure to join the VIP Facebook group once you've made your first purchase. That's a, a really helpful resource and a fun community as well. Uh, some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and then tips and tricks along with yet another discount code and then QR codes on the back that'll take you to the mobile app on your respective mobile device. Be sure to download that. It's good for getting notifications for restocks and sales and whatnot. You also get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Also, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking at making your first purchase, I actually have a discount code for 20% off that you're welcome to use. It's uh, just my name, K-A-D-K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And it's just for first-time buyers. And um, just so you know, though, it is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission if you choose to use it. So please, 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 please do not feel obligated whatsoever. I just always mention it because it's good to save money. The good news is, even if you don't want to use my discount code, uh, there's tons and tons and tons of discount codes out there. Really, Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price for your diamond painting kits from them, so be sure you use some kind of discount code. Uh, so Diamond Art Club does also include this sticker sheet. There's a spot to write your start and end date, the name of the artwork and the artist, and look at this beautiful original artwork. Hard to capture it really well because there's lots of those dark colors, but oh my goodness, so, so, so beautiful. This is gonna have round diamonds. It looks like it's gonna be 56 by 79 centimeters. Over here, we're gonna have a set of pre-cut stickers that you can use for kitting up if you like, if you kit up into storage containers or baggies. Um, these are all, like I said, pre-cut for you, so it makes that process go really, really quickly. It looks like this kit's gonna have a total of 44 colors. The color code over here on the right, this is the same as the DMC color code that's used in some floss. And uh, in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds. But just giving a first glance at these symbols, I don't really see any that I am too worried we're gonna mix up. But we'll take a look at the canvas here in just a bit to see if we feel like the drill field is printed pretty clearly. Speaking of the canvas, let me take you on just a little tour here. Now up here at the top, You'll see their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Now the canvas material itself, they use this really, really high quality material. The back is very soft, almost felt-like, um, and it's very, very plush. That in combination with the really high quality poured glue that they use, it's very squishy, it's very forgiving. Um, it makes diamond painting on these canvases almost like a luxurious experience. Um, everything about these is very, very high quality. You're not gonna have any problems with the canvases um, holding the drills. It's gonna, it's gonna lay flat really well and hold the drills really well. So yeah, so <laughs> over here on the left, we have a legend or key code. We have the same key code over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, here's information about the artwork and the kit again, as well as the thumbnail. I always will point out the copyright symbol. So Diamond Art Club does always get permission from their artists to use those artists' artwork in diamond painting form. So Ivy Dolamore is both being compensated for the use of their artwork and also has also given permission for the use of their artwork. Here at the bottom, you've got links and info about Diamond Art Club's social media accounts. Be sure to follow them there for previews of new releases and whatnot. And here at the bottom right, here's info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty, whether, whether um, you run out of diamonds or run into any problems with the... Um, like with the canvas or the glue, anything at all, you're covered under that. So uh, taking a look at the drill field, it looks to be printed very clearly. It looks like we're gonna have definitely some color blocking with this black. This symbol right here with a black background and a white dot in the center, that is gonna be uh, the color 310, which is just 
black. <laughs> color blocking is when we have large areas like this of the same color. Uh, you'll be able to multi-place your way through those areas if you want to. If nothing else, you'll have that color in your tray for a while. Areas with lots of color blocking like that tend to go a little bit more quickly than areas of what we call confetti. Now up here, we'll probably get a good example of some confetti. Uh, confetti is when you have lots of color changes in a small area. You'll probably be single placing through those areas as well as um, uh, changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. Look at how stunning this is. I love it so much. So while so much of the background of this painting is dark, I love that then we have this really amazing glowy effect here in the middle. It's gonna be so striking. Here she's got a raven on her shoulder. I love the detail in the cloak that she's wearing. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so gorgeous. So let's do a quick measurement and see if we are true to size. I'll flip this sideways as well so you can see the whole piece in frame, albeit sideways. <laughs> so, 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 so pretty. I love, 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 love this artist's artwork. So we are at a tick shy of 79 centimeters tall. And then we are at... 56 centimeters on the nose wide. So this is true to size. That is pretty consistent with Diamond Art Club. By the way, if you happen to notice uh, that this isn't completely laying flat on its own just yet, uh, that's just where the plastic cover shifted just a little bit in transit. Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening. If you give it just a little, little bit of time, it'll lay perfectly flat on its own. If you wanna help it along, you can always roll it backwards the opposite direction or peel back the plastic cover and that will help it along. So I would like to take a minute just to show you the diamonds that came with this kit. Here's our package of diamonds. There's the name of the kit on the side on the sticker. So if you store these separately from one another, you can match them up easily later. All right, so lots of dark colors in here, but lots of really beautiful light colors in the middle as well. So right off the bat, we have three bags of 939, which is a really, really deep blue color. And then here's 310, which is our black drill. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310. Look at how sparkly these are. Now about a year ago, Diamond Art Club began manufacturing all of their diamonds in house, both their round and their squares. I feel like the difference is a bit more noticeable with their squares, but you can tell as well with the rounds. Their new round diamonds are really, really incredibly sparkly and um, have just a really, really amazing shine to them. They also are a lot more consistent in size, so that helps as well. 317, 3834, 3861, 414. And then here we have our first AB diamond. Actually, we have one, two, three AB diamonds back to back. I'll show you each of them individually. But um, take a look at these diamonds. You'll see that extra sparkly iridescent coating on the top. These are a special kind of diamond called an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Just like the Northern Lights are really sparkly and have kind of a color shift effect. Uh, so too do AB diamonds. The areas these have been charted, it's gonna, oops, get in focus here. Uh, it's gonna highlight those areas. It's gonna draw your eye to those areas. They can just really beautifully enhance a painting. And Diamond Art Club usually does a really nice job of charting these. So our first one is 126, a pale lavender. Keep, I'm sorry, camera keeps wanting to focus on the, on the background. Then we have 127, which is a really, really pale pink. These are some really beautiful, subtle ABs. And then 117 is a really pale beige or like taupe AB. That's so, 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 so pretty. So sparkly. All right, so 754, 758, 948. And then here's our fourth AB and our last AB. <laughs> this is a white AB and it's such, such a pretty neutral. 318, 3756, 210, 775, and 893. We have just one more small strand over here. 3755, 334, 
451, 3778, 452, 3771, 3064, 356, 3830, 3824, 209, 975, 3826, 976, and 3341. So obviously a lot of dark colors going on in the background, but then um, those lighter colors I think are gonna make the center of this just really stand out beautifully. Well, let's take a look together. I wanna to point out where we're gonna find those four AB colors that we have. We are most likely gonna find virtually none of them in the background because we don't have any of those dark colors obviously in um, those dark a any dark ABs to go in the black or anything like that. It's mostly going to be in these areas where there actually is more light in the painting. It's I think it just makes sense. <laughs> so first we have um, just one or two <laughs> of uh, this taupe AB. Oh, that's not the taupe AB. I'm gonna have to, oh yes it is. Uh, the light brown AB um, in here and then doing some outlining on this capsule that she's holding. There's a bunch of that light brown or taupe AB. And then we have some, both the pale pink and the pale purple AB and actually the brown AB in here as well and the white, so yes all kind of around the lightest areas of this capsule we have various ab's going on that are just going to help it sparkle and glow even more and as we continue moving up a little bit we have some of the taupe ab right here and a little bit of both the taupe and the pale pink ab doing some highlighting here on um, i think this is kind of this is this her hair yes this is her hair that's kind of slipping free of the cloak right here and then a little bit on the underside of her sleeve there's a little bit of the taupe ab and then of course, as we get up in here, she's the moon thief. So I suppose this is the moon that she has stolen, perhaps the moon's light. This is all white AB in the center, pale pink AB immediately around the white, and then pale purple AB around the pink. So this whole section is literally going to glow. I am so happy. That's exactly what I was hoping that they would do with those ABs. I think that's gonna be perfection. <laughs> I love, 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 love it. Uh, now taking a look, I wanna make sure we're not missing any in her either. So uh, there is just a little bit in her eyes. I see, I think this is, yeah, this is the pale pink AB. There's one of each of those in her eyes. There's a couple of the taupe AB as well in the center of her eyes. We don't really see any ABs in her skin tone, which I actually am really happy about. I generally don't love seeing ABs in skin tones, so love that choice. There are more ABs highlighting in her hair. Again, imagining where like the light of this moon or moon's light that she's holding, where it's glinting and reflecting. So we have some of the taupe AB doing some long highlights through her hair and a little bit of the pink AB in there as well. Now it's absolutely possible that I have missed some of the ABs in this particular kit just because um, with the different symbols and colors. Um, I just might not have totally picked out <laughs> where some of those ABs are, but I, I really wanted to point out and notice what I was most hoping for and looking forward to, which was all the ABs that are right in here. I think that is just gonna, especially if you look at the original artwork, that's where the glow is. I think that's gonna be so incredibly striking. I love, 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 love what I am seeing with this artwork. I kind of want to start on it immediately, like legitimately. <laughs> I've been working on like a lot of squares, a lot of like different kinds of color palettes, but there's something about this that is just really, really drawing me in. So this, this may get kitted up, <laughs> we'll see. So you guys, just to give you a really quick recap, the name of this piece is The Moon Thief. It's by the artist Ivy Dolamore. It's one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this week. And this along with the other new releases for the week are going to go live tomorrow, which is Saturday, July 16th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. 
Eastern time. And don't forget that if you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window. Um, the size on this one, this one was 56 by 79 centimeters. It has 44 colors in, in round diamonds, including four gorgeous ABs. So um, I don't know whether this is going to be limited edition, but I have to say that it is so gorgeous and so stunning. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing in the look of it, please be there on Saturday morning. Be ready to shop and add this one to your cart because I think the finished effect is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. All right, my friends, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all ahead of the weekend's releases. I hope this video was helpful in making your decision about your shopping for the weekend. If it was helpful and you had fun, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.